I'm back. Oh well, better from my episode. <sighs> migraines are the pits. At least I think that's what it was. Um, it seemed like a migraine, but it was different to what I've had before. Um, yeah, didn't have COVID, did a test, definitely wasn't that, but has been horrendous. Anyway, I want to thank you all who messaged me and checked in on me to make sure I was all right. I really appreciate it. I really do. So thank you so much for that. I also want to give a shout out for to Sue, who bought me a coffee. So thank you so much, Sue. She also left me a lovely message talking about how she watched my channel and loved my new videos. And I will put a smile on her face, which is so lovely to hear. So thank you, Sue. That was really nice to read when I was feeling so ill. I will also clear up that I know I said I was going for a drink that night. I literally had one glass of wine and when I was having the glass of wine, I felt ill. So it was not the booze. <laughs> it was not the booze, I promise you. I don't get in a state like that anymore. Anyway, um, this is going to be vlog number 17, just so I can keep track of where I am. I'm trying to keep them to do with the dates. So if you watch this and you're thinking where are the ones in between the last one and this one, that is why they're not there, because I had sick days. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to show you some sales that I've made and I'm going out today to a chat to one charity shop but it's my favourite one in the whole world. I'm going with my best friend Lisa and um, hopefully going to get some really good stuff to show you at the end. Another sales dropped in. This is sold for £7.99 plus postage. I do apologise for my weakened voice. I'm still not very good but I'm going to battle through and get these videos done. So yeah, another sale. I've had this about a year. When I actually got it, I comped it and it was worth quite a lot. But the tweezers were missing, so I think that devalued it somewhat. But still, I thought I would get more than this for it. I'm sure I paid £3.99. Um, yeah, so I've had it a long time. So not something I'll be in a hurry to get again. But a sale nevertheless. And another thing out of our bedroom. I know it doesn't look like it's going down, but... It is, slowly. Okay, two more sales to show you, which I've made to two different people. I've sold this lovely Yankee Candle Christmas jar holder for £15 plus postage. Um, this has literally been listed a week. Um, it's a really nice one. It's brand new, hasn't been used. Really happy with that sale. And I've also sold this gorgeous Father Christmas vintage um fabric there's quite a lot of this it's folded up it's quite heavy um for 17 pound 59 plus postage they both well no they used my voucher that i've got on at the minute for 20 percent off and the person that bought this yankee candle jar holder candle holder um just sent me an offer for 15 pound so really pleased with that the material is selling so fast so i am so happy i'm really glad that i decided to get it i think i may go back to that shop and buy some more because as you could see if you watch that video on my vlog ember can't remember which one it was now i do apologize but if you have seen it you'll have seen how much fabric they actually had and it was very cheap so i'm definitely going to go back and get some more the seasonal stuff definitely worth picking up this time of year Another fab sale, these Fly London boots I bought about a month ago for £8. They have sold for £30 on an offer. We were bartering for quite a t some time. Um, they were on for 50 but I'm happy to see them go for that. Quick profit, out the door, yay. I've <laughs> sold this light bulb. Um, I bought loads of these ages ago and I didn't think they were going to sell because I've had them a long time. But this is the second one that sold, um, three ninety nine plus postage. So really pleased with that. It's a screw in one as well. The last one I did, I sold was one of the prong ones, which I thought would be more popular. So yeah, happy to get rid of that one. And then I've sold these not your daughter jeans, which I wasn't familiar with, but I saw them on a fellow reseller's Instagram quite a while ago, and I found two pairs. And this is the second pair to go, £15 plus postage. Um, these have taken about nine, ten months to go. 
Um, I think I might have had them priced a little high though, as I tend to do in the beginning. <laughs> Completely forgot to show this. So this has sold for £75.99. I've had it about six months and it is my dream phone game from the 90s. Held out for a good price and it's actually going to um, a TV studios and film studio um, in Eastbourne, West End Studios it's called. So I'm real excited. Um, really good sale. But yeah, I will show you what I've sold. I'll, I'll get a screen grab from my eBay because I forgot to show it before I parceled it because I'm still not 100%. <laughs> I do apologise. I wanted to quickly talk about something that's cropped up on my Instagram a few times actually. Um, for some reason my eBay, when I have hit six grand, which I will talk about in a minute, <laughs> But no, I'll tell you about that now. I'll tell you about that now because that's cool. Me and Rob have this thing where every time one of us hits a milestone, whoever's the qu first to um, hit it, the other one has to do something for that person for a week. Get your minds out the gutter. <laughs> anyway, mine is to make me cups of teas for a week. I know it's boring, but it makes me happy, so don't judge. Anyway, um, I hit six grand last night with the sale um, that... I showed you before the um, dream fern sale that's going to the West End Studios or West Side Studios or whatever it's called I can't remember in Eastbourne anyway really excited about that so I put it on my Instagram that I'd won and that I'd reached six grand and it's a great milestone anyway um, people have pointed out which I have noticed before but I've never thought anything of it because I get paid, it's my eBay, it works fine, don't need to worry about it. But my total, the dot is after the six and the comma is just after the pounds and then before the pence. And also my pound sign is at the end. I'm going to show you now. So I spoke to Rob about it. I said, people keep asking me why this is. And he was like, well... <laughs> If I was following someone and their turtle looked like that and all their payments looked like that, I'd think it was a bit odd. And I said, yeah. I said, I hope people think don't think that this is like a, a con page because it's not. That is my eBay. Um, I have actually deleted the app and re-downloaded it and it's made no difference at all because I thought maybe I've downloaded the wrong app from a different country. Don't know whether you can do that. Um... But no, has made no difference at all. So if anyone knows why that is, let me know. Um, I've got no idea. And I feel like I have to kind of justify it, even though it's not me that's done it, it's eBay. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have no idea why it's like that. All I know is that I'm at uh, over six grand now, 90 day total. For how long, I don't know, because it could dip back under. But I have hit it. And that's the main point. That is the accomplishment. So I get a week's worth of tea. Thanks, Bev. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I don't know why that happens. And um, if anyone knows how I can fix it, let me know. Like I say, I'm not bothered because I'm getting paid and I'm making sales. So it's not really affecting me other than people asking about it on Instagram. I'm here in the car. Lisa's just getting petrol. I'm filming now because she doesn't like being on camera. <laughs> so when you watch this, Lisa, you'll laugh at me because I'm doing this little bit while you're getting the petrol. Hello. And um, Elliot is asleep behind me in his car seat, bless him. So we're going to go to Cancer Research, which is one of my favourite charity shops, and see what we can get. I think my voice is going. <laughs> this will be fun for videos, won't it? I want to thank you all again. I keep getting loads of really concerned messages through asking how I am and where I've gone and that you miss my videos. Don't worry. You'll see I'm back tonight. Um, well, I'm back now. When you see this, I'm back now. <laughs> come to Morrison's to stock up on these for the kids and come across some Gary Barlow wine. <laughs> I'm not buying any. We've got tons of wine at home, but yay, that's real cool. I didn't know they did it in supermarkets, to be honest. Gonks. Gonks. 
Is that what they're called? Can you see anything I should have bought? Right, so I've just been with Lisa to three other shops. It's actually getting dark now, which is weird for me to be out this time. I'm usually, you know, usually, that's a new word. Are you <laughs> usually at home, tucked up in pyjamas by now. But yeah, I've got quite a lot of ceramics. So I've been told by Lisa not to unpack the bags myself because I'll break everything, which is a true story. Anyway, I want to thank the two lovely gentlemen that I've seen today in the charity shops who come and said hello to me. One in Cancer Research in Amlaby and one in Age UK in Amlaby. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get your names. I still get flustered when I see people and know I am and I don't know who you are, but I appreciate you talking to me. Hello and hello to the, the guy who I saw in Cancer Research, his wife Amy. I'm going to give you a shout out because I remember he said he was with his wife Amy. So hello Amy and your lovely husband. Um, yeah, it's been a good trip. I'm going to show you what I've got when I get back. I keep trying to get Lisa on video and she's having none of it. So I'm not going to do it sneakily. She thought I was then. <laughs> she thought I was going to get her, but I'm not because I'm not mean. I won't even put Rob on video, you know, because I don't like it. Anyway, on my way home now and I will show you what I've got when I get back and just like that she's back home and all the stuff is on the table <laughs> so this is what I've got pretty good haul um so I'll start over here I picked up this projector um it's a vintage one obviously print concord 800 high intensity dual magazine 35 millimeter color slide projector it has the booklet in with it if I can get it open and oh it's got that lovely old smell it's great um hopefully it will work I did check when I bought it because it was 10 pound um people have sold this for spares and repairs for 10 15 pounds so I'm confident I can get my money back if it doesn't work if it does work people have this listed on auction starting at 80 pound so I'm going to aim high with this I'm going to stick it on for 100 buy it now soon as it's in its box and it's got its instructions if it's working i'll keep you updated on that one in the vlog ember so watch out for that this is a lovely vintage jewelry box wooden it's got a few scuffs to it but that doesn't matter too much you expect that with age so if i can get hold of it three pound this cost me it's got the lovely bit at the top nice orange felt very fetching and a lovely drawer um yeah hoping i can get 15 for that this <laughs> absolutely love it how mental is that how crazy is that it is wonderful i absolutely love it it's like um i think they're monks aren't they anyway it does have some chips it's old and it's by is it wise or wes wise pottery um two three pound 25 for that i was not gonna leave it behind it is a six egg cup i'm just counting it now to make sure there is six there <laughs> yeah so um got a few chips don't know who's gonna eat six eggs i think even on me on my best days when i'm being really healthy i couldn't manage six eggs but it's cool nevertheless i've seen one listed for 38 pound on etsy doesn't have chips that one I don't think so I'm going to aim for 20 for that one this is really cool paid five pound for this it is a Jing Pin Yu Chi or Key or I don't know, tea set um lovely from China I believe there are no chips cracks or scuffs in this it looks pretty good the box is good the comps are all over for this um some have sold 
for £50, some have sold for £150, so I'm going to have to I'll do a bit of research on that, but it's lovely in the original box. Then I've got this Douglas flower um, jar, big jar, it was £5, paid up a little for this. I reckon I'll get 25 for it easily, it's in really good condition. It's got handles that aren't chipped, oh, I've got some things falling over over here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Please ignore all that. That's all Rob's stuff over there. Then I've got these lovely vintage shop glasses. Let me find the price. There we go, $3.99. These are lovely. Very 70s looking. Not sure if they are. We'll do some research. Hoping to get 15 back on those. Then I've got this lovely candle podium holder from Disney Parks. This is five, well, was £5. It's really lovely. There isn't any that I can find like this on eBay. There you go, Disney Parks. Um, it was $29.99, so it's from America. It's gorgeous. Um, hoping I can get maybe 20, 25 for it at a push. Depends whether it's discontinued or not, we'll see. Pack of tarot. Now, I love tarot. Whether that will give me more popularity or not i don't know on here but i do tarot myself i do actually earn this kit myself it's the rider weight pack um don't know whether they're all in here but i will check it two pound gonna buy that all day long they're 10 to 15 easily harry potter's if you're a if you're a regular here you know that i've been looking for these i'm doing a collection for my daughter so we're buying the Harry Potters, Hayley's going to read them, and then I'm going to sell them, basically. So I found, for a pound, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, that was a pound as well. That one's a little damaged, it's got a bit of a tear in the cover, but it's a hardback. And then we've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. That's a hardback as well. All a pound. And then I got this for £5, which is basically Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban and the Goblet of Fire, all in a presentation box. So yeah, that was £5. So I'm going to keep them all together. I'm going to keep buying Harry Potters every time I see them, because why not? I mean, they bring good money in bundles. And coming up to Christmas, they'll be really good. I won't be selling them Christmas this year because I don't think Hayley's that good at reading. She's got a lot on as well, bless her. She's in sixth form, so yeah, not a chance. Bought these for Dexter's room, £2 each. Just some storage boxes. Um, then I bought this Memoflex cushion. This was £6. Um, these brand new are like over £100. So I'm hoping I can get £30 back for that fingers crossed it's in really good condition and they're wipeable as well so i can give it a good wipe down make sure it's clean before i send it off when i sell it then i picked up this lovely ballerina this is by i've been buying these a lot lately <laughs> keep finding them all over shoed hill giftware and um, it was two pound yeah i think 10 to 15 on that easily it's lovely she's really pretty Nothing is missing. No limbs missing or anything, so we're good. Then I got this doll. I'm not going to pick her up because she's stuck under here now. One second. There we go. She was all packed up in a plastic, like, cellophane. Anyway, she was £2. Um, I wasn't going to leave her behind. She's got a full outfit on. She's got blinky eyes. Um, I think she's got a bit of age to her. We've done a little bit of research. I think I'll be able to get 15. I think she's a Simba doll but she's quite a nice one. Picked up a Barbie to go with the scooter that I bought recently, so now I can dress her and bundle her up with the scooter and list that, so happy day. She was a pound. This is a gorgeous butter dish. 4 95 I paid for this. It's lovely, really good condition. Bit of a mark there, but nothing to worry about. It is by, is it Slovak? Where? Made in England. I'm hoping I can get around 15, possibly as high as 25 for that. Fingers crossed. Then we're going to come over here. I bought this vintage bag from the 80s. 
how cool is this? When I picked it up, I wasn't sure whether it was vintage or not, but Rob's done a little bit of research on it since I got back and we've realised it is from the 80s. It was £2. Really, really nice. I think it actually says there, look, 1982. Chase Mount Int MKTG Limited or whatever it says. Yeah. Um, got this lovely vintage print on it. Pop it. Pop it and... I don't even know what that says. I don't know what that says. It looks like fruit or fluff or I don't know what it says. Anyway, really cute. Hopefully get 15 on that with it being so old. Then I got this. This is cool. Four pounds I paid for this. I mean, get a free box with it as well, which I will keep and use. Um, this is a Thomas the Tank Engine wooden train set. And it does have some actual engines in it. Um, the last one I bought, I sold for £11 on an offer, but it had no trains. This one has at least one train. So I'm hoping I can get around £20 for this, maybe a little more. I'm going to count it all up, see what it's got inside it, and then decide. But I'll be keeping the box anyway, so I get a free storage box out of it. Not bad going. They cost more than £4, don't they, on their own? Gorgeous. Hand crocheted blanket. We all know I'm a sucker for these. £4.50. Absolutely beautiful and it's a bargain. It's really nice, really soft, lovely colours. I don't know how much I'll put this on for. Maybe 30 to 40 We'll see. I have only sold one blanket up to now. And I found, and well, Lisa found me another one in Cancer Research. It was a big cream coloured one. Not handmade, just a shop bought one. But unfortunately it was torn so i had to leave it and then i think my favorite buy of the day are these curtains <laughs> can't leave a pair of old ugly curtains the fugly ones these were 6.99 they are an 80 inch drop 66 inch wide um they've got tie backs with them they're very nice Last pair of curtains I sold that were very similar to these, but an orange colour more than red, I got £72 for. So I'm going to aim high with these. I'm going to put them on for probably 50 to 60, see how I get on. Um, if They might, hopefully, have a make inside them. I haven't looked. But yeah, I think you can agree. I'm really pleased with my haul. Let me know what you think. Would you have bought all this stuff? Is there something that you wouldn't have bought is there something you would definitely have bought is there something you think i got real cheap is there something you think i paid too much for let me know in the comments if you've watched this part of the video thank you ever so much and i'm so pleased to be back <laughs> you've got no idea i've been itching to make a video for the last two days so thanks for bearing with me thank you for all your support thank you for all your lovely messages as always i really appreciate you all and yeah let me know what you think in the comments the word, if you've watched this part in the video, it's got to be Harry Potter. Seeing as though I've bought all the Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> Funny story. When I was in there buying it, I had a trolley. You're not supposed to really use the trolleys in there. They're supposed to be for the staff, but they let me use one. Lisa went and got one for me. And um, I had the Harry Potter books in the top. And this lady come over and said, oh, could I just have a look at those books, please? And I went, oh, um, you can, but I'm buying them. And she went, oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you worked here. <laughs> she thought I was putting them out. So that was funny. Um, she was really embarrassed by Sarah. I said, don't worry about it. I mean, I had taken my coat off because I was dying. I was so hot in there. So easy mistake to make. Woman with no coat on walking around with a load of stock. You know, you're going to think that I work there, are you? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have another equally as interesting video for you and I hope again to see you all in the comments and have a chat. Speak to you soon guys. Ta-ta!